come back. You're back. Again. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> you speak your tree. You can speak your tree. It's all right. No you problem. Know? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Uh, we were talking about the smart. The smart. Yeah, that is specific, measurable, achievable. achievable realistic Stick. and timely. timely so we are going to relate it to the constitution and the ex-presidents at least timely. what they've been able to achieve in terms of using this yes, smart yes, idea so yeah. thank you mr eric okay. it was very good to bring out this, um, yeah the, these points about the smart okay. being it specific being it um, measurable um, achievable realistic and timely mm -hmm. and not only that I will also say even that project needs to be smart yeah. in terms of what value uh -huh. is it bringing to the nation? Realistic. And also, is it like properly costed by you with me? Good, good, yeah. good. So, thank you, Mr. Akokudongo. So, here we are going to try to relate this smart. We will take it from the time of independence and see the time that each president has had mm -hmm. and what type of influence mm -hmm. that they've had on the economy yeah. and also on the people of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So we'll start off with Osajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, okay. uh, the founder uh, and the, and the uh, fighter for independence for Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, Nkrumah came into you know mainstream politics uh, serving as a prime minister, uh, even under the governors uh, before we achieved the independence. So by say, something like 1954, Nkrumah was already in the picture in high level uh, politics in Ghana, you know, doing everything possible to get that uh, independence for Ghana. So when you take, if, even if you take it from 1954 mm -hmm. to 1966, you're looking at something like, um, uh, let's say 54, 66, something like 11 or 12 years, okay. right? 11 or 12 years, but in reality, he actually assumes real power mm -hmm. when he it, well, after independence in 1957 when Ghana. So you say, give him working years, nine years, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'll just quickly run through the others. Then you have the Kutoka Efrifa Ankara, uh, which is a head of state. They overthrew Nkrumah in 1966, mm -hmm. and they also come into power as a head of state. They ran for about three years, 66 to 69. Then uh, Kofi Abrifa Buzia, Dr. Kofi Abrifa Buzia, mm -hmm. and also the father of uh, our current president, uh, Akufuado, uh, um, also worked with Buzia. Was Buzia the one who overthrew Nkrumah? No, 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 no. It's a, a free fire, free fire. Ankara and uh, Kutuka. They overthrew Nkrumah. Yes, as a military, yes. And then Buzia they came. stayed there, mm -hmm. a, a sort of transition, mm -hmm. uh, and then they handed the power to. Um, to Kofi Abufa Buzia, yeah. and then obviously Nanado Dankwa Akufuado's dad was then the ceremonial president. Mm -hmm. And they also lasted from 1969 to 1972. Mm -hmm. They were then overthrown by Ignatius Kutu Echampo, I.K. Echampo, uh, also... So it means our democracy has been hit with so many um, coup d'etats, isn't it? There has been a few. There so which means few. Ghana has not really enjoyed democracy as a matter of fact. It, yes. it, it, it has been, you know, one coup d'etat after, after the other. Yeah, I think we start to see some consistency from 1992 till this yeah. time when we have... After the long uh -huh. military rule. rule. So then we, we try to stay on course. So Kutu Echampo comes on 72 to 78. Mm -hmm. Then there was a palace coup by uh, F.W. Akufu, mm -hmm. who had a palace coup. So it's very peaceful. They got him to resign. And the Kofu took over. He didn't even last for a year. Mm -hmm. And then there was the issue with Rollins coming in with the junior ranks. Uh, the man, uh, no, the the, also... Rollins came in seventy nine, and then obviously he also handed up power to Liman in the multi party system in nineteen eighty one. There about and Liman came on. He didn't last. Rollins came back. Came back in thirty first. <laughs> 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 the only man to have done it twice. Amazing. <laughs> Um, so and, he came and, back uh, with a coup yeah, d'etat, right? With nine, uh, the, the second one mm -hmm. was also a coup, but once again, it was a, a, a very wasn't probably as brutal as, as the first, as the first one. one. And then obviously, uh, uh, Liman yeah. and the lot were put in house arrest mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. So in 1981, Rollins has taken over. Then it comes back as a PNDC. 
Yeah. Uh, I think there was AFRC. He started off as AFRC, then PNDC, mm. then um, then obviously uh, now became a democratically elected leader from 1992 under NDC. So you okay. got you got I, I Kutwe Champo, who also done the SMC one, mm -hmm. Supreme Military Council one, mm -hmm. and Supreme Military Council two. Yeah. And so from then, then you see J. Kufo also coming for eight years. Then Atanels followed uh, 2009 um, when he was inaugurated to 12, mm -hmm. and then he uh, our, the only late uh, former president. He went, and then Muhammad ran the uh, 2012 election yeah. against uh Adodang, but he won mm -hmm. then also uh yeah then he kind of carried on till uh, 2016 yeah. and then Nana Adu, Adu, who's yeah. only done four years mm -hmm. so this is the obviously right. a summary yeah. of of, uh, mm -hmm. of who they have been now you're looking at the smart to mm -hmm. see what are the projects have the projects been measurable mm -hmm. have they been real have they been timely and I will even say, have they been really smart mm -hmm. in terms of the value, the value what money. value for money is Ghana getting? Mm -hmm. Because the problem is that, for example, if you have, say, gold, and you're mining gold for maybe 120 years, mm -hmm. and even the, the town, say, the, the village or the town or... That they the, mine the, the gold in if there are no correct. infrastructure. Correct. If, if there are no infrastructure, infrastructure or the locals have not benefited... In, from, in terms of yeah, education and so many right. things, mm. that tells you that you you it's done something, it, something very you done it, but you are not smart. Mm -hmm. And we need to shift to smart. We need to Ghanaians mm -hmm. need to get to that level where we are looking into the details. Yeah, that how much is Ghana getting? Mm -hmm. What have you used it for? Mm -hmm. Is it benefiting the people? These are the questions. Is that uh, and we'll come back to that. <laughs> someday <laughs> and the thing is that this uh -huh. these are the things that we need to be looking at and saying and, and it will shape our politics mm -hmm. so yeah and the one other interesting that you are going to find mm -hmm. that if the the mindset of Ghanaians shift mm -hmm. to this level you are going to find that the parties are going to be mixed yeah so mm -hmm. whilst traditionally you found that maybe Traditionally, the voter region was very much NDC, and maybe Achimi region was very much Awakan uh, region was very much NPP. Yeah, 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 when we start to look into details, details people yeah. are going to say, "Oh, even though traditionally I would have been NPP, mm -hmm. but for what they are doing, mm -hmm. for what value Ghana is getting, getting I'm, I'm going not to going to." to the other party, yeah. Yes, and then mm -hmm. that is when you are going to see a better so country, have, so know, that you're you going to have a mix. And you're going to have a mix mm -hmm. of the electrics. You're not going to see blocks mm -hmm. like, oh, uh, let's say the north is NPP yeah. or this is that. So, yeah. You're going to see that in the north when you go, maybe about 50%. Because because actually, the transparency is going to bring out the details so that people will begin to question, you know, assess, we need to and question. evaluate what Correct. they are what doing. Is being done. So what are they you can, using? They can have informed decisions ah, and informed correct. choices. So, quickly to run through. Uh, we say Kwame Nkrumah, he took office with, uh, we had, then we had 400 million uh, cities. Okay. Yeah. 400 million, uh, I think it, it was, it was pounds. Okay. It was like when they left, they left 400 million pounds. Mm -hmm. And then the city was almost equivalent to the pound or something like that. So, you know, that's the sort of money that Nkrumah had. Mm -hmm. But it's a visionary. Nkrumah is a visionary. And also he's charismatic. Okay. And so he set goals. Mm -hmm. And his goals, I can say, probably the only one that meets the full criteria of the smart. Okay. As in, look, there, there are so many things. You, you start listening from the industrial area, mm -hmm. from the Akosumbo Dam, from the Valco, from the Tamamoto Way, mm -hmm. uh, Kolebi Teaching Hospital, uh, the University University of Science and Technology, Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. Legon was established under him. Uh, you know, they did so much, isn't it? So much in such the a short term, motorway. Yes, so yeah. such a short space of building, building communities for workers mm -hmm. in Tema. This is why you have the communities in community one, community two. So, yeah. do you think so far, Nkrumah has out sort of um, played all the um, ex or the presidents in Ghana in terms yeah. of infrastructure. Yeah, nobody, uh, yeah. I, I can say for emphatically that nobody can compare mm -hmm. the vision of Kwame Nkrumah. You okay. cannot compare anybody to him. In the sense, when you look at the purse that he had, mm -hmm. 
and he was so smart and when i say smart he was so smart that mm -hmm. even as we had that 400 million um uh, pounds that we could have actually the, the dam was 30 million pounds we could have built it from our own pocket mm -hmm. but then Krumah being a visionary held on to the money and he negotiated for the dam to be built because he knew that he will have Valco and he will sell some of the electricity to neighboring countries and, get and also the and Ghana can also mm -hmm. have the electricity so these are the type of projects and he's setting the vision okay. the Tama way also to show you that with the motorway you can move goods quickly or transport from people from A to point B. The Tema Harbour. We will be back for the next series. Watch out for the next series. And uh, please share, like and subscribe. Put your comments below and we will return your comments if there's uh, any Q and A's. If there are any questions we will answer them for you. Thank you for watching and look out watch out for the next series.